learn a lot of audience, a lot of ladies and gentlemen. I can all I do talk from experience, what I've had from mental health, been sectioned um, three three times, two times in the last eighteen months. People suffering mental ill health get a raw deal, and it's always been that way but it's both morally wrong and economically stupid. They reckon that mental ill health costs the economy something like 100 billion pounds a year, lost employment, sickness absence, benefits, and the impact on families can be overwhelming. For myself, it was my mum. And one of the biggest things that really strikes me, even to this day, although she's done so much work with herself to, to help cope, um, is that it, it's the lack of um, ability to feel that you can actually help the person. Uh, if they have a cut, you can put a plaster on it. If they've broken their arm, you can send them to A&E. The problem with mental health is you can't just snap your fingers and say, well, do this and you'll become better. So it's feeling quite helpless for somebody that you, you love dearly. Well, I grew up with um, a bipolar father and obviously things have changed a little it, there's not quite the same stigma there was then and also we understand a little bit more as a child I didn't understand what was going on nobody else understood what was going on so people called for the police rather than for an ambulance when he was having a crisis when I went to see GP for the first time uh, to ask for advice regarding my eating um, I was aware that I'd started to use food in an abnormal and unhealthy way and uh, and the GP, she weighed me and then um, she gave me a, a pamphlet about um, calorie intake, which, um, which I, was really unhelpful at the time. I think my own experience is there's been times where my GP hasn't been exactly sure what to do when I presented with a mental health issue, uh, whether to send me to A&E, whether to refer me to a particular service, or whether to just give me medication. I think GPs aren't sufficiently trained sometimes to make the right decisions. Me being in the mental health, and seeing some of the patients, one minute they're talking to me normally when they've got their medication in there, they're, they're taking their shirt off and talking to the sky and talking to the tree and talking hibbery jibbery. I don't know what, how that medication can make them feel better. If you need a hip operation, you will get that treatment within 18 weeks at a very maximum. But if you suffer from some severe mental health problem, you have no such right. We want to introduce comprehensive access and waiting time standards across mental health over the next five years so that we achieve genuine equality. As a Liberal Democrat, I believe in a fairer society and I am determined that we fight for justice for those suffering from mental ill health.